A busy morning in this compound in Quen, Bamenda Free Subdivision, northwest region of Cameroon. At a glance, one could capture a picture of a ceremony in the making, but these women in the kitchen are preparing food for displaced English-speaking Cameroonians. Behind this busy atmosphere are shocking and breathtaking stories of mothers, young girls and kids who fled violence, looting and the destruction of their homes in Batibu, Belo, Mamfi, in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon. They, be, they sleep for bush. They talk plenty, plenty things there. I said, no. How's they for here empty? May they come with you don't. Ma Mata Tendo is hosting the over 40 persons from some of the conflict hit localities in Anglophone Cameroon. She says that living together, even in scarcity, is better than the scary bushes where women and young children were seeking refuge. That day we welcome again with the shoe, my, my son. This is another woman in distress who recounts how her son was brutally murdered and dumped behind her home in Batibo. Some kind of door, they, they, they party, you know, the evening chop. You want to put the fire so for even cause of small teacher. She is yet to recover from the shock, she says. This grandmother is unwell, but could not stay in her Batibo residence where her life was in danger. She adds that security forces destroyed her home. The testimonies of others are similar. They are blaming law enforcement officials for failing to protect them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the president of the Stand Up for Cameroon initiative, Kawala, and her team are here to bring the message of hope, distribute gifts to the people, and remind them that a political transition in the country is the ultimate solution. So we want to enter a political transition with neutral people who can help us to have a dialogue, to talk together as community. We need to dialogue, to ask ourselves, what is our history? What brought us to this situation? And how do we live together once again as brothers and sisters? And for Stand Up for Cameroon, we must not take any particular group of people and say, no, they cannot participate in the dialogue. Unless we have agreed that those people should go. Because I cannot say that I still want you to remain with me. Then I refuse to dialogue with you. And for us as Stand Up for Cameroon, we want Cameroonians to remain together. But we are conscious that for that to happen, we must allow everybody to the dialogue table and we must, there is no taboo subject. We must discuss every subject. If somebody says, I want a session, we must listen to that person. Why do you want a session? What has happened? And so on and so forth.